and welcome back to the show. I'm Kirsten Kloss and you're watching Biz Dev Weekly, the business development show. I'm here joined by Chris Hamilton from salestipaday.com. Uh, welcome to the show, Chris. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. Chris, uh, you brought to attention the power of leveraging photo sites uh, for business promotion. Uh, can you maybe uh, enlighten our audience a bit on this this whole area? You bet, Kirsten. I mean, the first thing you want to take a look at is uh, people are generally um, visual in nature, and they like seeing other videos or photos. And one of the things that I find is so few, few, few people actually leverage the power of photos. So I'm going to give you a couple of quick examples. Uh, on websites, there are pictures that go up. And when the pictures go up, there should be kind of a, a title and an alt tag. And the alt tag is an alternate tag which talks about or an alternate description that talks about what that photo is all about. And um, you know, in a, in a future show, we'll go into why that is extremely important, but it actually can help with you getting found online. In this case, though, we're going to talk about like Flickr, Photobucket, there's other ones out there as well, but these are the two big guys, is if you're going to take stuff that you take, take a picture of your product, for example. Let's say you run a auto dealership. Go take some pictures of the cars, and you can slap them up on Flickr and Photobucket. Mm -hmm. Fact is, is that don't just slap them up with the image uh, description that's in there. I mean, it's usually going to have a date and something else, and it's just as garbled a goop as the way I look at it, right? What you want to do is you want to put this is my Austin Martin, whatever, uh, from Calgary, whatever auto dealership it is, right? Then you can put a description in there Austin Martin from Calgary dealership, blah, 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 and then tags, you put that information in there. So now all of a sudden you're getting tags and uh, also. Um, uh, descriptions and also titles of this stuff all matching up and people will find you online that way now the other thing you want to do though put a hyperlink through to your website now I have a Flickr uh, uh, page and I uh, I haven't done it in a while but I used to do it quite a bit is take just a picture or a snapshot of my blog post each day and slap it up on uh, on Flickr and it's amazing kind of the traffic that can be driven from that stuff because of the link that I have through there. And my photo will get seen two, three, four hundred times. Someone sees it, thinks it's kind of interesting, sees the description, click, I'm going to go through to the website and take a look at that. Free traffic for me, that's the best way to do it. What about you, Kirsten? Got any thoughts around well, that? Well, and there's other things that happen too. I mean, you can you can uh, have a Creative Commons license attached to your photos, and if they're your photos and you own them, uh, people might use them on their website. So if it's a good uh, illustration of something that you're trying to show and you've got your logo at the bottom, um, you can request that they, uh, they put a photo credit back uh, to you. That helps with link backs. But... Um, what what often uh, websites miss, and I even miss this a lot in the past, um, is to actually use a photo sh site to host your photos that you're posting on your web website. Because what you're actually creating is link back, uh, citations back to your website from those photos. And if you upload those photos with uh, the actual keyword that you're looking to be searched under as the actual file name when you upload it to uh, the, the photo site and you include, the, include those keywords in the, um, uh, in the actual photo descriptions and on your website uh, as you link, uh, as you actually embed those photos, those combined strategies actually uh, add a lot of relevance to that keyword uh, in your in your page, it's a, it's a trick to to get uh, yourself indexed better on the Google searches, Chris. You betcha. Well, it's a great way to uh, leverage a free tool. A lot of cases, uh, Flickr and uh, what is it, Photo Bucket. There's yeah. many other sites. They're all free up to a certain number of, of photos. Uh, most uh, small businessmen can easily uh, uh, you know leverage those tools without actually paying very much money. So. Check it out. Uh, check out the photo sites. Thanks, Chris, for bringing that up. Thanks for having me, Kirsten. And thank you all for watching BizDev Weekly. If you want more advice, check out newlucid.com. That is our business development company where we offer all kinds of help and advice for uh, SMB, small, medium-sized businesses. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. See you again soon. Bye.